Okay, Aubrey Graham decided to release a feature-length film type of album. I'm not saying that the recent seven-track releases have to be the standard, absolutely not, but you know, when they're that long, they pretty much just cut out all the fat, but with 25 tracks? Look, I'm a Drake fan. I- I'm always looking just for good music, right? I'm not a stan or a hater. I just I just want the best out of this man, which is why I'm upset. I know there's a lot of personal stuff going on with Drake with his kid, and look, I don't really care about that stuff, right? I don't care about the gossip stuff, the stuff with his personal life. If it doesn't affect me, it doesn't matter. On this channel, I only care about the music, the art, and considering that he does mention it on the album, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give my opinion on this foolishness. So hear me out. Out of the 4,422 tracks that are on this thing, these are my go-tos. You know, I'm curious to know what yours are. Maybe it changes. You know, music changes with time, but I, I'm hoping that there's better ones on here because honestly. I really wanted to like this Drake album, and I, I've had it on repeat, but on the first listen, it did not impact me like the other ones, right? And my reactions from one bar to another were so weird, like, he had me like James from Split, I was all over the place, like, he would say something dope in one line, and then in the next verse, I'd be questioning who wrote it for him. Like, when we look at Survival, which is the first track, it's the intro track, you know, he acknowledges the beef with Meek, uh, the fact that Diddy punched him because Diddy took forever to be on a song, but there's a, there's a line where he talks about being independent, Drake... You're signed with Warner. Like, in the same album, you talk about your multi-album deal with Apple. For those curious on why this album is so long, you know, you want to think, I know the fans want to think that Drake actually cares about the quality, but the thing is, he owes cash money what's speculated to be around 10 albums, right? Back when he released this album, you know, he kind of teased it inside the cover, and even with the title that that was supposed to be his way to get out of that contract with cash money, but... Hey, we know Drake and getting himself into things he doesn't want to. The thing is, with this one, by making it a double album, it can count as albums 9 and 10. I know that breaks the heart of those who who want to think that Drake is just making quality stuff for them, that he's there for the fans, but he's kind of like that dude helping out at shelters. These ain't scary hours. These are community hours. That doesn't mean that he doesn't have bars, right? Like, there's a, this sick one right here. I thought this one was pretty good, and, you know, throughout the entire album, he then does other bars where he doesn't even finish the scent. After this summer, man, how's that even up? I was about to man, I thought about it. But let's talk about Emotionless, you know? He takes a couple of jabs at iconic duo splitting. We can guess who those are. That is heroes are disappointments. But here's what we gotta talk about, right? Do y'all really not think that Drake takes L's? Like, th there has to be mistakes that he's made. I mean, he unofficially beat Meek because his disc got played back to back. But honestly, to this day, he even put it in the freaking notes that he sent to Apple Music themselves. He's tired of hearing about all the ghostwriting. Who did that? Meek. When it comes to Pusha, I mean, you'll notice that all the stands, which I think is super interesting, always pretend like Pusha's a nobody, but like, but your own master Drake said he was influenced by him. When it comes to him, you know, he didn't even fire back at Drake when it came to their recent beef. He just, he pulled a rage quit and supposedly wrote something that was so crazy, it was so bad, it would have ruined lives, and then he never released it. That's like me talking about the million that I have in my closet, I, I just, I don't want to show you guys. Which, speaking of not showing, I've seen a lot of people tweeting this line right here, which at first glance is like, wow, that's a, that's a good flip right there. And I completely understand why you would want to keep your child away from the world. It's exceptional, except, Drake, no, you wasn't. Like, first off, imagine trying to use this line on your girlfriend and telling her that, oh, you're not going to put her on your Instagram because uh, you're afraid of the... No, you're going to get in trouble. This is a Deadbeats Dad favorite line right here. And the reason why it doesn't make sense is because I know some of you guys want to protect Drake at all costs, but like I said, he's he has to take some else. You know, you you can't ignore the facts. When Pusher released a Dieden, which was supposed to be the name of Drake's Adidas line that supposedly had to get canceled because now when you search a Dieden, you ain't going to get the Adidas brand line. You're going to get this picture that comes up bro but like this line right here about wanting to keep your your son away from the world or the world away from your son don't really make much sense when that adidas line was supposed to be named after him like you were gonna pull an Assad and adonis you were gonna use adonis as marketing to the world. I love how you can tell how some songs have been recorded long ago when there was there was a different state of mind, right? And others were just tweaked recently. Drake goes from saying that he's proud of his new DNA. He's gonna take care of his son no matter what. He's his pride and joy and nothing. Like let's be real, right? If Drake had gotten Riri pregnant and not a porn star who he calls out on his own album. Boy, if he got Rihanna pregnant, he wouldn't have hit it from the world. That man would have updated us any moment Rihanna was ovulating. That's why when we get to March 14, it's hilarious to me because he not only mentions the karma from his parents, but Drake said he's only seen his son two times because he's out in the front lines. 
My man, you out in the sidelines finding time for those games. Look, whatever the backstory is, right? As long as the kid eventually gets taken care of and he's responsible and is there for his child, it's his business. I just think it's funny that Drake had to bring it up on this album. He's he's trying to play cleanup and he's not answering back to push. Back to the music though, an eight out of 10, he gives this channel a shout out. I tell you, hear me out, but we both know end of the day. So I take back everything I said, even if the ending of this song, you know, using a meme of plies is kind of cringy. We then get a lot of shots at random people. You know, this is Charlemagne for his uh, skin bleaching on Sandra's Rose while he also says this. Yeah, I'm light skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. He tries to do his own version of the control verse on Is There More, but like, no, Drake, we're still waiting on the last one, Drake. Now, I like how Jay used his verse on Talk Up to acknowledge X and his death and how the streets, there's a lot of trouble out there, which clearly tells us that this album was edited recently, which is why it's kind of confusing when you get to Mob Ties. And I like Mob Ties, right? Like, clearly Drake has been chilling with Party, who recently likes sounding like Thugger, and this song definitely sounds like Thugger, but I like the flow of it. I was really enjoying the song until I noticed one little line. Louis bags in exchange for body bags, yeah? Nah. Now listen, I'm not one to go into conspiracy theories, right? You know, that whole thing about X and Drake. No, I'm not pushing any of that. I repeat it. I am not pushing any of that conspiracy stuff. I'm just wondering, knowing that the album was edited recently with some additional stuff, why not also change this verse knowing good and well X got robbed and killed for a Louis bag? You know, even more, Drake, did you actually edit the song? but you added that in? Again, I ain't starting no conspiracy. What I'm saying is that, Drake, this is this is a low blow, man. I mean, it's just disrespectful. Like, you're too smart for this to just be a coincidence. And knowing how you and X had beef over stealing flows, you know, the whole thing with look at me, all I'm saying is that this is, it, it's a lame line to throw this in there considering that this man just died. It ain't a tribute line because the whole point of mob ties is that you're talking about having shooters out there to get rid of anyone you don't like and to make a sub to a rapper who just died over that bag, Bro, if Pusha if so much gets a cold on making a citizen's arrest in Toronto. Now, Summer Games, I, I, I think it's pretty good. Off of, the, off of Side B, which I don't really like all the songs there. This one I like because it's kind of this album's version of Find My Love. It, it's a pretty good song. You can go check out this uh, writer who is a nerd. He makes a great video on that song as well. But while I like it, the ending's okay, right? Jaded is clearly made so Ty Dolla Sign can sneak into another feature. That unreleased Michael Jackson song that he got the cover for was okay, but it just shows you the difference between Drake and Kendrick, who also got the rights to another deceased icon's unreleased vocals, but he didn't flaunt it as a feature, and he had like an entire interview to play with. I will say that hands down the song I dislike the most, right? Like if I got into a car with you and, I, and you had the ox and you played Ratchet Happy Birthday, I'ma go <laughs> and dip. Final Fantasy, um, which is the last one here that I'm going to talk about, has nothing to do with the game, but Drake feeling like De Niro and Dirty Grandpa. And I want to fuck, 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 fuck! He mentions porn sites that he likes, which, Drake, we know. We know, Drake. And then also tries to push the word slash as a, a term to be used for sexual inter- No, we are not using that, my friend. Overall, by the end of the video, you know, I guess I am more disappointed with this album, right? Like, you can be mad at me for not liking it. If you do, I'm happy for you. I just, I wanted this to be better. Two sides, 25 tracks, the fact that he he spent the whole time apologizing, the fact that he admits that this is to get out of a contract and that's why it's so long. <sighs> I'm upset. 